But um, yeah, we have a lot of work to do today. Um, we didn't get a lot done for um over the week over the well no 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 let me rephrase that we got a lot done <laughs> we just didn't have enough hours in a day to really do everything that we needed to do today so we're headed to the warehouse i really hope it's not a 12 hour day but i think it might be a 12 hour day we have so much stuff to get caught up on so i kind of did want to take you guys behind the scenes um, as you know, we sold directly to a store called Navy Exchange. Um, Navy Exchange is a store that's like on military base, on a Navy base. It's a big store. It's really a big deal, but if you're not in the military, um, it may not sound like a big deal, but it's a big deal because um, a Navy Exchange is kind of like a Macy's slash Target. That's, how I, that's, that's the best way that I can describe it that's on military base for people to purchase a lot of um items so i'll just insert a picture right here of what the um ethnic hair section looks like um in the stores every it feels like every month we're growing to the point where we we just really can't keep up at this point so it's it really is just me and my husband and sometimes we'll have other family members come and help us so i'll just go ahead and show you guys um what we do at the warehouse um on the weekend um we have um, um yes yeah, it's, it's sometimes it could be a lot of work but i'll show you guys how we prepare um our orders as well as just show you guys really what happens during the day um so yeah I'm okay guys so we are here there goes little munchkin back there but um i just got finished eating breakfast and at the moment we are currently building pallets so we have to um, finish building these pallets um last week was a really big sale week for us we sold so much stuff we got sold out and this is pretty much the stock that we have left so i have to um this is usually like filled with stock now it's just like it's it's just i cannot work in chaos so that is where shampoos go that's conditioners that is the shelf for mist um this is all the mist that we had left for the week so mist have to go over there i have to fill this with butter jelly and edge control so i have to completely restock it get ready for the week of sales but hey guys so i am still um packing boxes i have help officially have some help here so i'm pretty excited about that so i am packaging all my mists and hopefully i can get this done it is about two o'clock now so yeah we've been here for about four hours now gosh time goes by fast <laughs> but yeah we've been here for four hours so yeah so i'm just gonna hopefully get this done um and um yeah all right so i'll see you guys in a minute some more stocking but pallets are packed there's some pallets over there and there's some pallets at the loading dock and um yeah i this is the front office and that has to be clear it's just like so much happens during the week and then like i i play a lot of catch up on the weekend so I just gotta get this done. Right, so I am back at home. I am tired. I'm somewhere in between wanting to go out to eat and wanting to take a nap. So it's been a long, 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 long Saturday. And I kind of wanna, I don't know, I don't wanna stay in the house because I've been working so much. But I wanna stay in the house because I've been working so much. So we are probably gonna relax 
and hopefully we, we won't fall asleep um but it's been a long day but i just wanted to take you guys on this journey with me because i get a lot of questions so yeah that is pretty much what typically goes on um during the weekends and how i really am able to stay as afloat with my business um i'm a very organized person so chaos really like it drives me crazy chaos i don't work well with chaos i work well when I'm, everything is organized and i'm at gymnastics <laughs> and i have a plan and um I'm just able to get like everything done and so today was really a day of really just getting that there I'm just thankful for family to be able to just come and be able to help um, and a lot of people ask too why don't I run my business out of my home <laughs> so if you see my warehouse you'll understand like I like to separate the two like I don't do any work um, okay, let me rephrase this because I'm always working on my computer. So if, if it's on my computer um, or if it's like a conference call or anything like that, I do do that type of um, work from my, for my business from my house. But as far as like everything you today I try to keep it separate separate from my home life and running a business because when you own a business um, the business is every you think about that 24 hours a day um, and sometimes you just need to take a break from it when, when we were running it from the house it was like really draining for us because it was just like Taylor Beauty constantly 24 7 and everything was reminded in our face and in addition to that we just don't have the space for it at this point the business continues to grow which I'm just really really thankful for um but yeah so if you guys can hear it in my voice Summer's in here doing flips so um if you can hear it in my voice I'm just really tired so um if you have any questions below, let me know. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I do, like, I pretty much share a lot about my life and running my business. I don't really share much on YouTube because in addition to, like, running a YouTube, uh, in addition to the business, YouTube is a hobby for me. Like, I've been doing it for so long. Like, I just enjoy doing it. Um, so, um, I really don't, um, put a lot about Taylor Beauty, but I do want to be transparent with my journey with the business as it continues to grow. Just so, you know, sometimes it inspires people and sometimes people do learn a lot by watching other people. So I do want to be transparent in that part of my journey. Uh, but I do share a lot on my Insta story on um, Instagram. I share a lot of, you know, what goes on. I give a lot of advice about, like, financing, you know, financial advice as far as running a, a business and things like that. So my Instagram is more than beauty, M-O-O-R-E, than beauty, T-H-A-N-B-E-A-U-T-Y. So make sure you guys follow me as well as my business page Taylor Beauty and if this is your first time learning about um, the business if this is your first time learning about the business welcome my name is Kia James and I am the CEO of Taylor Beauty so I'll see you guys in my next video until next time bye